Hey, um, just thought I'd make a video about the Season 3.5 changes for Ed. Um, it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Uh, one thing, I did reformat my computer recently, so... I mean, my mic is always pretty screwed up and doesn't have good mixing with the rest of the audio, but hopefully uh, it's not too bad, so sorry about that. Uh, it's a problem. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. First change is uh, crouch jab and stand jab. Got a bit of a change to uh, like hitboxes or hurtboxes or something. Uh, it's not really important. All you need to know is they want to make them worse anti-airs. And whether they succeeded or not, who knows? They probably didn't. Um, they usually... They, they nerf jab AAs or light AAs every patch and a lot of them still survive, but um, it's not really important. You, should, you don't want to really be looking for these kinds of anti-airs, even though this was kind of alright for a while. Um, you want to be doing rise hits and stuff like that, right? So, yeah, it is what it is, but um, I wouldn't worry too much about that one. Alright, on to the next change. Um, they have reverted Crouch Medium Punch. It's, they put this to plus 3 on block. It is back to uh, plus 2, which is basically... This is a big nerf. I mean, they gave him something nice, and I thought this was a pretty important tool uh, for reasons I've explained in other videos. I thought this was his biggest buff uh, for Season 3, but they've taken it away, so it's back to plus 2. Um, it's going to be harder to pressure uh, people on block now, and I'm not sure why they took this away. Um, I don't think anyone was ever complaining about it, and yeah, I don't know what the deal is. They just made it a lot harder to pressure with head, uh, for no reason that I am. Alright, yeah. on to the next nerf. Let me just put on all the data, attack data, display, yeah. They nerfed the damage of this by 10. Um, again, I'm not sure why. I imagine they did it to make it do less damage as an anti-air, maybe, right? Um, which is whatever, because, you know, you'd rather use this as an anti-air where you can, and it's only a bit slower. But this hurts Ed in a lot of ways. He's like bread and butter, there's a bit less damage, you know? A lot of his combos, basically every combo that is... Every significant combo he has, you know? His bread and butter do a bit less damage. And... They also nerf the damage on crush counters, right? So not only does his this crush counter do less damage... Uh, if we can turn this on. Not only does this crush down and do less damage, um, but it also scales worse, or whatever they did to crush counters, right? It does less damage, so they decided to nerf that button for some reason, even though this button, you know, it's not... It's good at what it's good at, but it's not like a, an amazing button or anything. Overall, mostly because it has no real use in neutral other than like a kind of alright end here. But like you can't with punish with it, you know, you can't you can kinda of pressure with it. You can kinda of pressure, but it's so slow that you can't frame trap into it at all, right? Uh like at least like not a tight frame trap. So again I'm not really sure why they thought they needed to reduce the damage on this button, but it is what it is. Alright, on to the next nerf. Um, they've really killed his V-reversal. Now, his V-reversal... I'd say you could definitely make a strong argument that it was the best V-reversal in the game, right? Best V-reversal in the game. Um, you know, most people will agree with that. Or put it up there in like the top three or whatever. But it sucks now. Um, it just sucks now. Um, it is punishable now, it no longer has the invincibility that it had, no strike invincibility, or it's like minus six or something like that, so, you know, it sucks. People are going to punish this 
all day, and I don't know what they really expected you to be able to do. <laughs> this is just tragic. <laughs> it's it sucks now. Um, it might very well be one of the worst fee reversals in the game now. So that's cool, I guess. All right, on to the next move. Um, they changed his uncharged. They changed all his snatches, kind of. They changed the uh, meter game. They nerfed it. I'm not really going to talk about that crap, but um, the important thing that they changed is, well I think they changed the recovery as well, but it kind of, you know, it looks so ridiculously slow that I don't even think it, it matters still, but um, the important change they made that is also a nerf um, is the setup afterwards, they added two frames of delay onto it, right? So people could wake up jab you out of a medium button here anymore. You used to be able to do, you do your thing, you go in, medium pressure, you've got like a medium, uh, so you can be a plus three, you can do, you know, your stuff. And now, you cannot. Um, you have to go with jab, I believe. Oh no, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, let's take a look at this. Oh. Trades with three friends. That's <laughs> that's brutal. Um, so all you can do here against three frame characters is your own three frame, which is like it's like plus one or something. So you can basically do nothing here, right? And the question is, why would they change this? This move sucks. All right, it's minus two on block. It does no damage. It, like, it used to give you an okay setup, but you can never use it on reaction to anything. It's way too slow. Um, they nerfed the meter build. They completely gutted the setup of it that they gave in Season 3, so... This move is back to being completely useless. Um, it just sucks. Don't use this move. There's not really much point. The risk-reward is not there. And... Yeah. Don't know why they changed this, but they did, so... Alright, on to the first part of V-Trigger 2 changes. I'll get to V-Trigger 1 at the end. Um, they increased Stein with Deactivation. They added three frames... Uh, how do you say? Like, they made it three frames kind of faster, I guess. Maybe that's not the right way to word it. But basically, this is a buff. Um, before, if you activated like this, you had to do something like that, right? Uh, because six frame buttons would hit here on that activation. Six frame buttons would hit. But anything faster than that, or slower than that, sorry, would not. But now, um, they've added three frames, so now a lot of other stuff works. Um, you can do this, for example. Uh, don't know why you would, because you can just do full combo, but it is handy in that you can do stuff like, I'm pretty sure you should be able to do stuff like that, yeah. You can do that now, um, which is nice. I'm sure there's a lot of other stuff. That's what the deal is with the activation. They made it a lot better um, for activating, just like you can do bigger buttons, stuff like that. And there's probably a lot more undiscovered stuff to do with that that I just haven't looked into yet, so I only just downloaded the patch. So yeah, that's the first part of it. Also, another side note on the activation is they deleted the hurt box during the freeze frame, right? So... I don't know exactly what that means. I haven't been able to test anything about it. I don't know if you can, like, <laughs> do this and then just, like, DP and, like, use it as a, like, reversal hit confirm. I doubt it, because, um... We're talking about Ed here, and Capcom don't really care about this character. So, I doubt that's the case, but there could be something to it. Um, there could be some interesting uh, aspects to this activation now that I just haven't looked into yet. Or no, not that I don't know if anyone's looked into it yet. I haven't been keeping up to date. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention it right, real quick.
onto another aspect of V Trigger 2. They reduced the cost of Ultra Snatches uh, in terms of meter. So you basically get three full uses now, um, which is a buff. But this is how it should have been from the start. Because before this patch, you used two and then it would be like just about to run out so a lot of the time you'd only ever really get two uses and that would be it and really it's not that good of a v-trigger where it deserves to be railroaded like that um even with this change it's still not like amazing or anything it's definitely one of the weaker v-trigger uh three bar v-triggers in the game but this is how it should be from the start you don't have to like be so like impatient with your uses anymore. You don't have to like, oh, I have to use it. It's about to run out. You get like a lot more room uh, to use the activation. So yeah, that's that. Okay, continuing with uh, V Trigger 2, let's now talk about its anti-projectile uh, qualities, um, shall we say? I picked Guile because obviously Guile is the worst matchup for this character. And um, I've set up him to just throw a boom, so let's get that going. Uh, As you can see, now goes with fireballs with V Trigger 2. Um, I think it could be a bit finicky in some places. This is a guess against Guile, especially. You're just guessing with this, you know. But it's better than nothing, and this is what the move should have done this from the start, really, in my opinion. But this is a good buff. Um, I had heard it didn't work properly, but oh, that was weird interactive. Oops. Maybe if I can get the bad space for it. There we go. See, I guess it can be a bit finicky at times, but it seems to work fine, I guess. So, that's a nice buff, and it makes V Trigger 2 a bit more useful, especially now with um, V Reversal being trash, you know. And, like, V Trigger 2 seems a decent amount better. I still think it's one of the worst three bars in the game, but it has a bit more utility to it now and usefulness. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, coming to our final point uh, before my, I do a brief summary. Um, I thought that reading the patch notes, maybe they made it so that uh, his Psycho Cannon? Yeah, that's what it's called. Was more safe um, on activation, you know. So, because you could never, you could never do stand heavy kick into psycho cannon against characters with projectile and vulnerable moves, um, because you, they just punish you every time. I thought looking at the changes, reduced uh, start up or whatever it is, and gave him invulnerability during the freeze frame. I thought that, hey, maybe he, you know, can do shit now, but, as you will see, still, um, seems the same to me, so, I'm not much of a V-Trigger 1 guy, so I, I haven't looked into what these changes mean, the, uh, three less frames on startup and stuff like that, but yeah, that's just a quick thought about it, um, and how it turned out what I expected and what it is in, in the end. Alright, uh, to summarize, I think overall, Ed is nerfed, um, he's never been a great character, you know, kind of like, I hate talking about tears, really, but he's kind of always been like mid at best kind of level. Now, um, I think it's hard to name characters who are worse than him. Um, his favourable matchups, for the most part, got fixed, so that they're not favourable for him anymore. Like, he used to do really... he used to destroy Abigail. Uh, that's not the case anymore. Although, maybe it's the case again. I don't know what Abigail's changes were, but I doubt it. Uh, it's probably even. Um, he still kind of beats Fang. 
but other than that, a lot of 5-5s five fives at best, and loses to a significant amount of characters. Um, some pretty hard, in my opinion, like Guile, uh, for example. But it's Capcom don't care about this character. Um, they've taken away everything good he's ever had. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's fair. Uh, he had the best backdash in the game, and it was fair to take that away because it, it was. You could tell it was just a bug uh, from their crappy, you know, game design, <laughs> and so they got rid of that. And he had the best V reversal in the game. They got rid of that. Now it's one of the worst uh, in the game for sure. One of the worst for sure. Um, Crash Medium Punch was all right. They made it decent for pressure, and they just took it away a couple of months later for no reason. Not sure why, but there it is. They kind of made this still not really worth using, but it had, you know, stuff. And now they've reverted it back to just being complete crap and not worth using at all. Um, it just completely sucks now. They've, what else have they taken from it? Yeah, I used to have a corner throw game. Now they just gutted it hard, which is, you know, they gutted everyone's pretty much, except for Kami, but you know, what can you do? So, he's not allowed to have that either, and his buffs are just like, you know, a lot of his buffs are give and take kind of thing. Like, they made it so his combos, you know, they never whiff anymore, if, if they're like, you know, like crash beating, this is never going to whiff. But the reason that it doesn't whiff is because they reduced the range of the move. Like, look, see how it goes through his foot? This move used to be longer. And in part due to making hands a bit further reaching and stuff, they also reduced uh, the range of this move. So he lost stuff to gain stuff, right? And like this speed, having more uses as a buff, it should have been like this the whole time. And it really doesn't change much. Like, it's nice, it's nice quality of life, but it's nowhere near a game changer. And, um, what else did they give him? This going through fireballs as well. Should have been like that from the start, right? Should have been like that from the start. And it's like, it's cool and all, but it's not like, oh shit, he's got it. I can never throw a fireball now. He's just gonna punch it every time. It's not like that. It's just like a guess because of how slow it is. So it's just like, it's still good, you know? Having a guess is a guess that even if you guess wrong, you know, you're usually gonna be plus two in their face. Uh, if they did a neutral jump it or punish it in some way, you know, it's still good, but it's not amazing. It's not game changing in my opinion, especially against Guile because you're gonna have to make a pretty damn specific guess to hit him <laughs> with how fast he recovers. But um, yeah, it's, that's pretty much how I feel about the character at the moment. Um, I'm still gonna play Ed. He's my favorite character, and he probably always will be. But I need to get a secondary character. Uh, for sure. Um, no one in the game currently interests me enough. You know. Maybe, I'm hoping Felk will be fun. <laughs> Felk should be awesome, I hope. She has like a cool staff, so. <laughs> Felk, Cody, or Sagat, right? They're the ones I'm looking forward to, but. You can tell by the balancing that Capcom doesn't give a shit about this character, and. Maybe they never will. Maybe he'll get the Vega treatment in SF4 where they just never give him anything. And But who knows, maybe one day he'll get buffed. I hope. But yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for listening to my ramblings. Hopefully uh, it helps someone at least. Uh, or shed some light on it. I mean, you know. People will think differently of these changes than I do. And maybe they're more correct than me. And they probably are, but... I'm not a fan. I think he's overall definitely weaker, and what can you do really?
But yeah, don't don't drop it. If you think you know, oh, he sucks now. He sucks. Like bottom three, I'm just gonna not play him, even though I like him. I don't. You should play him if you like him. Ed's cool. Um, play the character. The best way to play the fighting games is to play the character you have the most fun playing. Um, because that way you'll play more, and the more you play, the more you'll learn, the more you'll be thinking about the game, the more you'll watch, want to watch replays, etc, etc, and you, yeah, that's how you get better at the game, by playing what you want and not just what's strong, so, there you have it. Uh, hopefully, um, I'll be able to put up some videos of any cool stuff that gets found, but if not, um, I'm sure I'll be putting up Falk videos when she comes out, as well as whatever Ed stuff I can find. But yeah, thanks for watching.